Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. As always, for um, the month of February, I have a special sales offer available that it's inspired in the current Aquarius season we are on. If you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box or you can email me with your questions down below you can also find the current list of reading services i offer if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the paypal link which is also down below so sagittarius i'll be channeling uh messages uh, love messages in this case so it's going to be a special valentine uh, message uh, focus for the next weeks for your sign I'll be channeling messages for the collective and then I will also tie it together with the cards that will be showing up I feel like there's something like building up so there's a sense of an intensity building up here in terms of your love life or overall how you have been emotionally handling yourself in situations that are a big theme here I do feel like there's um, for many of you listening, there's a specific situation that you're focused into the next weeks that put your heart on the line, but also like it puts a lot of your revolt or anger, uh, you know, things you might be holding against a specific someone you're dealing with. For some of you, I feel like there could be issues with friendships, so not necessarily tied together with romance, but either there's um, like a mixed um, energy between friendship and romance or is completely apart from romance and it's just like you're struggling with uh finding like a balanced healthy connection here with someone that is a friend or is a part of your uh relationship system i also feel like there's something about the foundations in which certain relationships have been built uh sagittarius that are you know in need of consideration here for those of you that are after someone it's like this person is there's there's for some of you sagittarius that have like this person of interest in mind the door is not closed but it's also not open it's like in between there's a breach in which you can enter to access this person's you know life or heart uh but it's very um, it's very thin and I feel like the more time passes, you know, the harder it gets for you to have like a way in as you want. Some of you are like thinking about if you should or shouldn't, you know, pursue here someone you might be having a crush on or feelings towards. And I feel like there's a lot of uncertainty about this. So I don't feel like you're necessarily going to do something about it or getting, you know, the clarity you need to pursue this person, this love interest, the way that you need to. Others of you, it's just like a very tight up energy. So you want to keep your love life or your love affairs very in control, in check, or you're under someone's very controlling ways. Be aware of that, especially Sagittarius that are in a relationship, in a committed relationship here. You're dealing with, a, with someone constantly there's control issues here on both ends probably but i feel like it's a thing that could be causing stress i also feel like a part of all of this some of you are just more focused on money building here some sort of yeah the tied up energy eight of swords here it is so definitely either you're feeling trapped or someone is feeling trapped here by the dynamic that is the way the dynamic that is being handled here is, you know, a little bit restrictive to um, each other's personal freedom. But it could also be that you feel like you can't communicate or you can't be yourself or you can't say things as you feel. And this is affecting, obviously, your love life. There could also be insecurities when it comes to the self that are keeping you from, you know, being out there and trying your luck in terms of love. Especially for those of you that have been single and are wondering, like... What's the main energy or issue here with your love life? I feel like for some, you still feel stuck about things you're not over. Others of you, you just feel insecure for some reason here about your own personal power and charm. 
as I was saying, I feel like there are others of you that are just focused more on the material, you know, games and influence you might be having. I just feel like it's a, it's an easier area of life for you to succeed at right now. And you know this, or you will be growing to know this. And the fact that it's easier and that you feel good about it, you might be, you know, more and more leaning into material success than, you know, really focusing on love life. It's like you're putting, you know, you're leaving something about your love life further and further behind you as you focus more on your personal success and gain. But February, yeah, the tower. So I do see here that, you know, as I said, there are foundations that need to be evaluated. If they're built on something solid, if it makes sense to continue here with a relationship or with an obsession with, you know, someone you might be again dealing with, but it's not really stable or healthy. There could also again be just moments where um, something is building up. As I said, is this, you see here the volcano erupting. So something is building up definitely that is going to be like putting out perhaps your real emotions your really your real thoughts out there in someone else's and this might cause havoc this might cause conflict arguments you know even breakups so be aware that the energy right now is very sensitive and volatile and the slightest thing can turn into this big issue between you and someone you're dealing with or you and a partner i also feel like in terms in general your love life just needs a release you might want to release your energy through sex or through Something more, you know, casual in the moment because you're so tired of being here that you might try to find like this moment of release. And it could be through sex, it can be through any other activity in which you feel like you can put out a lot of built up emotion and built up stress and built up things. There could be a situation where, again, you and another, you have not been telling each other how you truly, you know, feel about each other and when this moment comes it can be really disruptive uh i feel here like a mixture of hate and love you know like the that thin line between hate and love is here present strongly that dynamic and it, it might be hard to really get clear if you really love someone if you really love someone or hate someone or if you really like want to keep investing in someone that also might be very 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 tricky and complicated you know themselves you have here the king of swords further you know intensifying the message that your love life is a little bit um salty right now harsh prone to conflict defense mechanisms rising you know arguments and a sense of the King of Swords and the Eight of Swords is a sense of, um, you know, either built up anger, contained, repressed anger. You can see here that this King of Swords in this deck is a little bit, you know, upset. So either you're upset with someone or someone is upset with you. Most likely it's mutual. And this is like a, a theme, an important theme for the next weeks in terms of your love life. Um, this could be a strong air sign influence you're dealing with. So uh, Gemini... Libra or Aquarius influence. Uh, this could also just be someone um, that you're, again, th this is speaking about the Aquarius season we are on itself. And I just feel like there needs to be a time out here, especially if you, if you are in a relationship and you and your partner, you know, you find yourselves constantly fighting or bickering or you feel like you can't communicate properly um a little bit of a timeout because i feel like if you try to insist or if someone tries to push your buttons it can really go south it can really lead to a breakup and i feel as i said like you're unclear if you want this breakup that's the issue here like first you need to get a clarity about what you really want and after in this relationship or this person of interest and if this person of interest can really you know offer you what you're looking for because aside of all of this, I feel like you're dealing with a difficult person, you know, someone very um, angry themselves and you can obviously, yeah, obstacles, five of pentacles. Either if the breakup already occurred, you know, you're going to be continue, continue, continuing to navigate the, um, that theme of dealing with that. It's like neither of you are really 
you know, necessarily doing well, but you don't know how to proceed forward with this connection, or your love life in general needs time to find its way um, back to balance. I don't feel like the next weeks are still going to be the weeks where stability, fulfillment, and comfort are necessarily present. Of course, not for all of you, for the majority of you, there's, since, there's a sense of struggles. Uh, also, again, the financial aspect of your life. It could be like you and your couple are fighting about money or resources or, or how one is giving more than the other in terms of finance, financial, you know, obligations, responsibilities. It could be like you have a partner that is not doing as well as you and this is an issue or vice versa. Mm, I, I, as I said, it could also be just a friend. If you're struggling with a friend and you don't know what's the deal here, you might have like this shock, this revelation, this surprise that there's someone that has here a lot of passionate feelings towards you, but they don't know how to deal with the feelings they have. And it's like, it's safer for you to be a little bit more on the outside and let this person, you know, deal with their own issues before they come at you. Because the way they come at you right now, it's more about attack. So this is what you need to be careful of. I feel like for some of you, there's that message of don't, um, don't, there's, there's this quote, I'm not sure how it's said in English, but it's like something like, don't, um, don't fall for it, you know, like, um, there's like this bait kind of energy, like someone wants to see you unsettled by whatever their actions or words are. You could also be dealing with someone that can be extremely mentally abusive all right so and if that is the case i feel like the moment in this time especially as we're coming out of this full moon in leo is to for you to really address what you need to be fulfilled and i feel like for some of you there's someone you're dealing with that it's not it and you might struggle to accept this but at the same time something might happen that it's so you know disruptive that ends up giving you you know that tough love confirmation that maybe this connection is not the best for you at least not as it is right now so i hope you have a great mid-month hopefully we'll see each other soon